everyone and welcome back to Fortnite events. So today we're gonna explain the bio code number seven and it's a lot easier than the previous one. To be fair, the bio code seven is just super easy. For the first quest, you need to either damage your opponent like you see this awesome guy, just <laughs> damage him with any gun. <laughs> okay, I'll get this gun. He's a bot actually. Yeah. So the first quest is either to damage your opponent or travel distance with this cannon. Like, just land on the pirate ship, charge yourself like this, and launch yourself in the air. I want to go back. Oh my god. And this is pretty much like either travel distance or damage opponents. You choose which one is easier for you. And for the next quest, we need to use the ship in a battle three times. So you can come directly to the Jack ship and... Open this type of a chest, it has 100% spawn rate of this ship in a bottle. And after you get the first ship, make sure to destroy the entire ship because actually there is multiple chests. I think there is two inside the ship. So I will destroy the entire ship to get the next chest done. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that? I actually destroyed the ship and as you can see there is another ship in bottle here. I will just get it and use it again on the ship. I don't think there is more chest, but I will do it anyways. Wow, we destroyed the entire area. And for the last method to get Shabana Bottle easily is by going to characters. Because some of these characters are uh, actually selling the Buried Treasure map. And also some of them, like Jack, is selling the uh, Shabana Bottle directly. So let's talk about this character first. Actually, this character sells the Barret Treasure, and once you get it, you just not need to go for it directly. Go away, brother. Oh my god, he's a bot. Ah. And as you can see, we're gonna go directly to the Barret Treasure. And this chest has 100% spoon rate for the ship in a bottle. As you can see, 100% spawn rate, and after you use this one, the entire quest will be done. And for the next quest, we need to damage opponent in the storm. Of course, the best method is by going to these two locations, the boss's area, and wait until the storm hits this location. As you can see, the henchmen will not attack you unless you attack them first. So we're gonna wait until the storm hits the henchmen, and then we, we're just gonna kill the henchman, okay? Hey, brother, we're gonna wait for the storm together. The storm is coming, as you can see. Okay, it's, it's about to come. Oh. Hey. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, I know you don't. You want to move, right? Ah, I'm gonna block his way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And as you can see now, we are both inside the storm, so what I'm gonna do is just finishing him off like this. And that pretty much how to do the quest the easiest way possible. And for the next quest, we need to just consume apple, so come to this location where we're gonna find these produce boxes. As you can see, oh, in the first box we will likely to find apples, but just in case if you couldn't find the first box I will show you now there is like other three or four boxes just in case if you couldn't find one in the first box so we found already two boxes there is also one here in this exact spot but someone destroyed the box in this exact spot and there is also one here in this exact spot again someone destroyed this box and there is also one inside this house oh my god I need to be careful from that guy there is also one here, and as you can see, this is like five boxes. And pretty much after you get like this, uh, just get some damage, like full damage or something, full damage. Then use the apples. And for the last quest, guys, we need to outlast. Uh, opponents, and this is pretty much by staying alive. As long as you're staying alive in solo duo squads uh that will pretty much end the quest for you so just stay alive make sure you don't die and that's it 
Thanks a lot guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye.